All right, so this is going to be a Leo Sun, Leo Moon, and as well Leo Rising weekly general tarot reading February 17th to February uh, 22, 23rd, 2020. And in case any of you guys is interested in a, uh, a personal reading with me, you can check out the description down below. And uh, there you're going to find a link to my website from which uh, you can purchase a uh, personal reading. So that being said, uh, moving into the uh, Leo's uh, week here, the first card which represents the general team and topic here, we do have a winner of the uh, Wheel of Fortune, followed by the next one here which represents the energies feeding up the topic and that is to be the Ace of Wands. Afterwards, what we do have, it is the challenges that you will have to overcome throughout the week, Leo, that is to be the Eight of Cups. The fourth card that stands here as a uh, uh, gifts and blessings that you can enjoy throughout the week. That is going to be the Three of Cups, followed by the next one, which represents how other people are going to take on you, what, uh, take on you, what kind of impression you're going to leave into the people around. That will be the Seven of Wands, and the last one here that we do have it is the guidance that Taro is uh, offering to you, Leo. We do have the Tower card, and we have one hell of a week for you guys. So the first two cards here are the Ace of Wands, which are the energies. Now, as the Ace of Wands falls into that position, it does represent your personal spark of inspiration. So the energies are combusting your spark of inspiration and you're going to start seeking throughout the week's opportunities everywhere you go and especially those kind of enterprises which are brand new and they look very very gainingful that is because with the ace of wands it, um, as an energy that it is swirling you around it is like you are trying to or you're going to start one thing to kind of drink from the variety of the world from one source or another and you're not gonna be um how can i say it you're not gonna be afraid of uh, the uh, how do you say it when you face something you have not been prepared up until this moment like a different kind of situations that you are not kind of like a, a very experienced with and that itself is going to force you into a, a mode of a creative chaos and through that creative chaos that it is formed with those energies here of the ace of wands uh you are going to re not reinvent but um, rediscover let's say certain slumbered skills and uh, slumbered knowledge if you will that you had up until this point but you had no idea that you are so good at it and the most trivial example of that is, you know, you, Leo, start dating with many people around, you know, going for a different, different enterprises everywhere you go. So you start kind of like approaching different people around and actually you kind of like find out that you are very good at flirting. All right. That is something that you have not resorted to up until this moment. But it turns out that you are actually exceptional say Casanova all right or same thing goes career-wise you know you start incorporating yourself with many different projects and actually you kind of like see that you are getting the hang of it very very quickly and you're good at it as well so that is a fantastic week here guys to change directions in your life if you're not very happy of where you're finding yourself right now and that happens by you searching for a new gaining for enterprises which are be which are going to be around every corner all right that is just shown here by the topic and the team which is the wheel of fortune that points that based on those energies your situations are going to stir once again and you are not going to feel blocked and like restricted and constrained by the uh, by the current stage of life that you are finding yourself at and the best thing about the wheel of fortune it is that one of those gaining for enterprise is to turn out to be once in a lifetime opportunity to change your life into something 
I, I don't want to say more than than it is right now, but into something that actually uh, unfolds your potential career or relationship wise. And you can expect to be very, very busy throughout the week, but not with the um, annoying uh, chores and responsibilities that you gotta take, but with really interesting endeavors and interesting tasks as well, you are going to, uh, how can I say it? If you go out, of course, if you allow those energies to unfold here and you go out and start interacting with people, you are going to have a very interesting, like said, interactions, okay? Which, um, you know, a real interest can, can embark either, uh, either relationship interest or either business interest as well. I mean, the opportunity Opportunities for you are endless here for throughout the week and all that it is asked from you is to allow that spark of inspiration to combust you just you know you just go out and start exploring the world like never before uh, the next card that we do have for you guys is going to be the challenges that you will have to overcome and uh, it kind of relates to the statement here that I said that, you know, if you are not happy of the life that you do have right now, you do have an opportunity to change that, okay? Only if you go out and explore the world. Unfortunately, when you do so, you have to leave things behind and that is going to be the challenge. Eight of Cups as a challenging card, it points that it will be challenging to forlorn a, a situation that you are uh, not very happy with, but yet you think that you can kind of like reverse the course of events. But is this really worth it if you can have a better perspectives much faster than that? Okay. And uh, the, grim, the grim example of it, it is say you are trying to get in relationship with someone and that things, that kind of like process is prolonged for yeah, quite some time now. And it's kind of like you are on your last legs in it. And is it really worth going forward with it if you can have a um, much faster relationship with someone else only if you go out and start interacting and dating with people and kind of showing yourself that you know that you are ready to take a different options and that you are prone to explore different varieties and opportunities that are standing around so here the challenge of the eight of cups it is that you have to kind of like adopt the standpoint or the mindset that you do deserve better okay and if the current situation does not uh, kind of like give you the this better that you do deserve while well, you're gonna find it elsewhere and that current situation that current person you know or that current job they simply are gonna be left in the past so it's like a uh, uh, if you observe the card here it is kind of like the person is abandoning the empty cups behind which is the disappointment the um the unfoldment of a situation that does not happen based on his expectations and is walking away going to find a, a better perspectives a, a better future that comes around and the card itself uh, it kind of represents that you do need a fresh wind to kind of blow away the, the the noxious mists which are in uh which are stifling your life and that fresh wind can be found exact exactly into the new gaining for enterprises that the energies are going to bring to you and your only job in this reading or what the reading shows here is to catch them is to kind of like be active about those uh, about those enterprises i mean they're not going to happen on their own accord all right and it's just you have to do your part in them but you are not going to lack the opportunity to do so that leads us to the next one which is uh, the uh, gifts and the blessings that you are to enjoy and that is a, a pretty big support from those who loves you okay and that is a, a big thing here because the three of cups kind of points the uh the vision of everybody around it's kind of like how it uh, it combines and becomes one grand idea if you will but in this case of yours that is that these people even if they don't kind of like find your a uh, new um new options available reasonable 
they still want to see you happy and they will be more than happy these people i mean they will be more than happy to help you with that because the three of cups also points to the cooperation so you're going to be gifted with a an option to cooperate with those around you that are faithful friends faithful companions your family for example and to help you with the um uh, with the endeavor that you are standing in front. Additionally to that, that card points to a, a very, it's, I cannot say peaceful, but let's say emotionally abundant social circle. So especially if you go around and start uh, kind of like enterprising or, you know, um, interacting with uh, new people around you with as a gift this week is going to form around you, uh, like I said, very emotionally abundant circle, which there won't be any criticism in it, but only a, a cooperation for the better future of uh, of all and lastly the three of cups uh, it kind of like gifts you with immediate results as well as a gift and blessing that is the three of cups and uh, it's like whenever you start performing into those new enterprises you are going to start seeing like said immediate results but they're going to be far from ultimate results so that so you should not be confused by it and when you start seeing results you need to keep on pressing into that direction if you do want to see the thing completed so how people are going to take on, on you what kind of impression you're going to leave into people around um leo we do have the uh seven of wands and uh, it's kind of baffling card here so seven of wands here points that you are to be quite determined all right to kind of like a uh do how can i say it to do something for yourself um without uh, how can i say it uh, without a allowing anybody else to mess around with your idea it's more like a uh, deflecting exterior influence upon those new enterprises that you're gonna get yourself into i mean if people want to help you that's great but if people want to alter them well that's not a bad thing and those people will not have a uh, a place among you and among uh, and among your team moving forward into the future either career-wise or either relationship-wise so that card here points that uh, you are to be quite of a um, uh, standing quite firm in terms of defending your ideas in terms of defending your methods as well in terms of defending your career in terms of defending your relationship but once again this is going to be the defense that you are going to establish in regards to the promise for the new unfoldment that uh, this week is offering to you but once again only if you grasp the opportunity standing at your home doing nothing is going to result in absolutely nothing okay uh, and so the last one that we do have for you guys is going to be the guidance that uh, Taro is offering we do have the tower card and as a guidance this card points that you can completely transform your life. It will be a bit unpleasant, okay? So probably you will have to break relationships. Probably you will have to as well abandon certain things that you may have found a substantial up until this moment. That is the tower. So the tower here points that you should have no remorse whatsoever to purge a situations or people that are not matching with your understanding or perception for the happy future that you can have it is because once again this week is going to gift you with the other options available with other gaining for enterprises that are to stir your situation and will help you to rebuild your life that is the guidance here okay that week it is the very start of you rebuilding these fields of your life that you are displeased of that you are not happy with at all so that being said, Leo, this was your weekly general tarot reading, February 17th to February 23rd, 2020. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And once again, if you're interested in a personal reading with me, you can check out the description down below and there you're going to find a link to my website and uh, from which you can purchase a uh, private reading. So hopefully we're going to see each other around. And until then, bye.